Welcome to Dude RV. I sure appreciate you stopping by. And of course you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for another Friday's find. And this Friday's find found me. <laughs> How crazy is that? CW Create, their Amazon store. And they said they're very impressed with my videos. And that would I be interested would I be interested in reviewing and creating a video about a backup camera? More specifically, an RV backup camera. Said, well, of course. Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of being able to see what's going on behind you, so absolutely. So they sent me a package. And it was made in China. Go figure. So it is, it has this, this camera, it's actually a camera and monitor. 120 degree field of angle, field of view, seven inch color display, smart IR cut, 2.4 gigahertz wireless transmission, and it is HD. It's very similar to what we're what I'm already using. After we get the box open, I'll show you what I'm currently the setup I currently have. Because you might this may be your first visit to the Dude RV channel. Let's just do the box opening. Owner's manual. The seven inch monitor. Bracket for the camera. Camera. The camera actually Power cord and camera. Bolts, nuts. What's the screen? Glare reducer screen. That's the power for the monitor. Oh, that's cool. Got a USB so you can actually double tap your PowerPoint. I like that. That's 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 genius, I say. Various nuts and bolts. A sticky pad for the monitor. And then we have regular mount couple of antennas now what's interesting to me about this one is that the it does not hold on let me show you so uh, since we we've traveled in a motor home and we flat tow the pickup Seeing what's behind the pickup is as much of a concern for me when I'm driving as, as, as anything. And so I use a wireless camera mounted to the, to the rear window of White Lightning, the F-150 pickup. And that has a transmitter. There's a transmitter right here under the hood. So it's a wired transmitter. That wireless camera setup is designed for large vehicles, big, big uh, fifth wheel motorhomes, 18 wheelers, that kind of setup. And that transmits to this monitor here on the dash. So we'll kind of be doing a, a side by side. We're, we're not kind of, we're going to be doing a side by side comparison because I've, I've worked all the kinks out of this. And with the length of our coach and the F-150, yeah, when I first put this camera set up into play, we had a smaller motor home and my transmitter actually sat inside the topper right here 
when we moved into the and i had a bit of a delay on the image but it wasn't enough of a delay that it was a big concern when we moved into the longer motor home and we added a, a couple of feet the delay on the camera the delay from this camera uh, was really noticeable uh, and noticeable enough that uh, I felt it was a safety issue and so I moved that little transmitter from here to there and it, it eliminated that delay got, got it just close enough that the delay you, you, you don't notice it so what I need to determine with this unit with this camera because it's it's uh, it looks like it's about the same size as what what's currently in use actually the, the camera lens is bigger so that might actually give us a better a better picture but the question still remains does it have enough transmitting power to eliminate the delay and so I'm going to I'm going to have to configure both of these to have them side by side and and that'll be a test for me and you get to see how well this works. Now what really excites me is that I'm actually able to have two cameras, two wireless camera feeds go into this monitor. But ultimately what I plan on doing uh, after this video, after this test, for you, the consumer, to, to see how well this, this setup works. Uh, I have, I have a, a genius idea that will take, take, a, take advantage of being able to have two cameras feeding into the one monitor. Well, right now, I've got to get the bolts, get, got to put the camera mount together. So I have another one of these. My shruggers, that's a, that's a tough mount right there. It is, and that didn't come with the camera. This, this was something I bought separate. This is a Ram B suction cup mount. So if you have something that you're wanting to, to mount outside and you don't want a great big, a great big tripod suction cup mount, this one works really good. Occasionally air gets inside here uh, and then dust because it's on the rear of and there's always dust back here So I have to clean the glass and re stick the suction cup mount, but that holds very well You see the dust works its way in there So let me get that ram mount set up. And, oh before I got to get the disclaimer in I am an Amazon affiliate and I do earn a little bit of revenue if you click one of our Amazon links it does go to support the channel so it is most appreciated if you click on the link the, both the RAM mount and the camera are available on Amazon the links will be in the description below and heck I'll throw a link right up there for the camera and I'll throw another link right up there for the RAM mount, because I swear by that RAM mount. All right, let me go assemble some hardware and I'll cut back in. One thing that I have just learned, well, that's not what that I just learned. So in the, in the instruction book, they don't really give you any, that, that's about the, all of the setup diagram that you're gonna get. Uh, some of it's self-explanatory, like the you know the, the sunshade just snaps into place. The bracket to hold that has got has has two big thumb screws on the end. You know, you get a whole kit of self-tapping screws and wire crimps and zip ties. There was specifically a little bag that contained some hardware and then there was another little bag that contained some nuts and some bolts and I figured out that the nuts and bolts 
are actually for mounting the camera bracket here. And these little screws go in the side of the camera. But I'm not sure if, if maybe these plastic spacers are supposed to go between the bracket and the housing of the camera. So you've got two. You've got the ones with the white material on the back and then there's the thicker ones that they feel like plastic so i think the plastic ones may go in the middle i don't know i don't know if that's the right way or not but that's what i'm doing one thing i've realized though is the, the little antenna is it's going to going to interfere so now that i've got it on the mount that's about as horizontal as it's going to go. So I may have to reposition the mount so that it's a little higher. Anyway, I have it assembled. So there is our camera assembly. I ended up, I hate when I have extra parts left over. And not have a parts diagram. Did I did I forget to connect something? I don't know. We'll find out. So now we gotta have power. We are testing the new rear RV backup camera system as a rear view camera system on the motor home. I have it currently mounted on the rear window with the suction cup. Mainly I wanted to see the delay from the wired camera to the wireless. So is there a difference in transmission at this distance? So the footage that we just saw was driving up Central Expressway in Dallas. What I learned from that is the wireless camera for the RV that was mounted on the was mounted on the back of the coach for that video clip and there was no delay in the camera transmitting to the screen. It was the exact same speed as the wired cameras on the back of the coach. The next thing we're going to be examining, uh, that this will happen in a couple of days when we're driving and towing the truck. So what I'm gonna be exploring next is, is there a delay with the FXT camera at this distance? Meanwhile, we need to go look at the monitor in the cab. I have the, the monitor here. One thing I wanted to show you is, is how simple this is to all connect. It came with a power plug and it's actually got a, a charge port. So when you, when you plug it in, you actually don't lose your power point. The flashing you're seeing on the screen is a result of the camera frame rate. It actually is not flickering when I'm watching. But right here, there's a little blinking dot. So I put a SD card and this does accept a standard SD card and it when it when the card's in it's recording. I have found this little monitor to be very simple. Now the instructions that come with the the, the kit are they're very basic. And the reason they're very basic is there's not a whole lot that you need to learn here. You've got a couple of options. You can put your lines up if you're using this as a, a backup camera. 
Or if you're using it just as a rear view camera, you can get rid of them. You can switch between multiple cameras. So if we had more cameras on there, that, that button would allow us to move through the different cameras. And when I was, I was playing around with this the other day and somehow I ended up getting, <laughs> moving this to position number two. Not sure how, I, how that happened. We have our Wi-Fi signal and it's, it's showing really strong. So I got real high hopes that we're not gonna have much of a delay. The camera is currently about 60 feet from the, the monitor. The settings are pretty simple. You just tab through with the arrows on the screen. So you can adjust the colors, your mirror, the mode, which is, we'll accept that. So you can have up to four cameras attached to this monitor. As near as I can tell, the FXT website does not have individual cameras and their store on Amazon does not offer the individual cameras. Uh, they may have them. Uh, I've reached out to them and asked that question and I, I didn't get a real satisfactory answer. It was pretty vague, but I, I think they may actually have them if you ask. It gives you the option to pair a new camera. If you go into the pairing, that's how I ended up with the camera on number two. I was trying to figure out adding cameras. The camera comes with a sticky mount as well as a screw mount, a screw on mount so that you could you could mount it up here uh, or you could do like I have done with the halo view find a bean bag uh, I purchased this cam this monitor mount from Amazon and it sits right up here like that this is the view that I have when I'm driving down the highway. From the driver's seat, I'm watching the, the truck that we're flat towing and the cargo in the basket. This monitor is subject to a lot of glare, which, was, which is why I haven't stopped using the camera on the back of the pickup. That gives me a very clear indication that I've passed a vehicle or if a vehicle is about to pass me, much clearer during daylight hours than this. And in the evening when the, or an overcast day, this works great. But during, uh, on a bright day, uh, there's just so much glare that you really can't use that effect, safely use that. Uh, it has worked out really well. Once I, once I solve that delay problem by moving the camera transmitter forward so the camera transmitter on the fx system that this video is about i don't know what that delay is going to be if it if it's too much of a delay i can't really use it in this capacity there's an audio feed so if you're using it as a reverse camera you can turn on the audio and hear and have a conversation next we're going to test the camera in the dark it is dark not quite as dark as i was hoping for it's dark enough for us to do this test though Hold on, let me turn off this light. So we are testing the night vision on this, this FX RV backup camera. And it's actually pretty, pretty good. So I'm gonna set up the camera and I'm, I'm gonna walk around there. So that concludes our in the dark test of the RV backup camera by FX.
about the same. Okay, that just... To summarize my experience with the FX, there we go, with the, my experience with the FX RV rear view camera, it's, I think it's a good value, I really do. You can find it on Amazon, the link is in the description below, and heck, I'll put one in the card right up there. It's, I think it's a really great value. You need to decide that for yourself. Now, I had some issues this morning when we started rolling uh, with a delay and freezing up. But an hour into the drive, when we broke out the camera to start recording, that delay went away and it wasn't freezing up. It was actually performing as good as the hardwired camera on the coach, certainly as good as what we're currently using. So I'm really excited about that prospect because I can put four cameras, feed them into that monitor which leads to great potential possibilities for an onboard security system for the coach. But that will be a video for another day. Uh, so the FX, little FX camera, if you're looking for an RV rear view camera, I think that's worth your consideration. All right. Hey, if you found some interest, entertainment, or value in this video, I'd be, I'd be really grateful if you'd click on that thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, I would also be honored if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, man, I appreciate that. I really do. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, it's getting cold. <laughs> Gotta go build a fire. Y'all come back now, you hear?